So now we will talk about the style components inside the material UI, which is the style that we call. So style is used to apply the predefined styles to a component. So they are used to apply the predefined styles to a component and we call the style function and then we add the argument inside it and the argument will be the component itself that we will be using and then we can just apply that styles within the backticks and then we can add the backticks right after that and then we can add any style to it like we can add a color we can add a hover effect we can add a margin we can add any padding so any style that we want to add we can just add in the backtick as well and earlier the material UI provided us a package like the MUI slash styles which is now depreciated and now they are recommending to use the style components inside of the make styles or create styles or with styles component which were available in the MUI styles package and now the MUI styles is not being used inside the react 18 anymore so we can't use that so instead of that we have a style components that we can style before using that and after that the component which we use inside the style still accepts all of the values to be applied so the components accept all of the values to be applied thereafter as well because they are just the same components which we added the styles so all of the props are now same so if we see the properties so all of the properties are now same as we have discussed so all of the properties of the component are already available inside that so now we will just move on to the material ui styles package so now we are into the style library interoperability and now you can see instead of the styles instead of the MUI styles now we can just use plain css we can use global css we can use style components we can use css modules as well and the emotion as well and then we can also use the tailwind as well but now we will target the style components to see so now you can see by default MUI components come with the emotion as their style engine and if we want to use the style components we can just add here the styled engine and for that here we have done the styled engine and then here we have created the style so now you can see we just want to import this style from the material UI and then we have the styled and then we can just create a component like we have a customized slider so here they are using the slider so we have created the component and after that we are calling the style and then we are passing the component which we want to edit and right after that we have the backticks and in the backticks we have defined the color and the colors we need to define should be in the hex codes so we need to add the hex code of the color and then we have the hover state of the color as well and after that when we are calling that component here so all of the default props and all of the pre available props are also available inside that component like in this slider you have the default value so the default value is already available because all of the props will be then available because we are just customizing the style of that component and not the properties so now this is all about the styled components so now we will just move on to the visual studio code to test the styled component inside our application and now we can just use here the style so for that we need to import the style from the material ui and now we have imported the style and after that now we can just create a component and if you want to create a component like the customized typography so for that we can just create that so it should the customize typography so it will be a new component and then we need to call here the style so we can call here the style and inside the style now we need to add here the typography so it will be the typography and right after that as we have discussed we need to add here the backticks and inside the backticks now we can have the color so we can have the color and for the color it accepts a hex code so we can just get any hex code from here so i will now just grab this one so we have to just copy the hex code of this and then we can just paste the hex code here and after that we can just have the hover state as well so we can have the hover and in the hover as well we can have the color and the color would be the different inside the hover so we can just grab any other color in the hover as well so i will now grab this color inside the hover it should be this color so we can now copy this color and then we can just add it inside the hover state and after that we can just call that and now we have just created the component and now we need to call this component as well so we can just call the customize typography and then we can just add here and now if i will now just save if i will now just move on to the application and now if i will now just restart the application now you can see nothing is there because we didn't add anything inside the typography so for that we need to add something to the typography as well because it is a typography because it is a typography only but we have just changed the name and the styling so we can just add any text like it can be the hello world so if i will now save so now you will see there will be the hello world onto the web page and now you can see you have the pre-default styles as well so now you have the blue color of that and now once you will just hover over it but now i think the hover is not working but we have the predefined styles of this color and i think the hover is not working so we need to remove this colon from there so we can just save and then we can just move on to the application now you can see now we have the hello world and once i will just hover over it now you can see the color is now changed so this is how the 
styled component works we can just add more components here as well we can have the buttons as well and then we can add some background as well in the hover so we can add the background and then we can just paste any property to the background as well so we can just have any background like we can have this background as well so we can just copy that and then we can just paste there inside the hover so we can have a background with this state so if i will now save so if i will now just move on to the application now once i will hover over it now you can see hover effect also once i will hover over it now you can see now we have the hover effect also so this is how the style work and we can add any type of style here as well so the style will be applied to the typograph as well and now we can just define any variant over that also so we can just add a variant because all of these styles will also be available inside that so we can add the variant equals to the h1 so if i will now just save if i will now just resize the window as well so now my window is now 100 percent and now you can see now we have the hello world onto that web page in the 100 percent and once i will change the variant equals to the h5 or something so now you will see the hello world will be now changed so everything is now working perfectly fine and you can have any number of components with this style as well so this is how this style component works in the material ui